There's a famous analogy of a teacher pouring some tea into a cup. And as he keeps pouring, the tea overflows out of the cup, into the saucer, out of the saucer, onto the floor. And what's the point of making this mess? To show us that when the cup is already full, nothing can go in. That seems so obvious, but sometimes the demonstration is needed for us to really get it, especially when this cup is our own minds and the tea is the knowledge that flows in. When we think we already know something, we're totally not receptive. And so the knowledge doesn't flow in, but out from us. And there's always different ways into seeing things. Maybe we did know it, but we can learn a little bit more about it or see it from a slightly different angle. Or possibly we didn't know it. We just thought we knew it. Humility is this wonderful quality where we understand that we can always learn that we don't know everything. There is a beautiful quote in the Zen literature that says, in the mind of a beginner, there's infinite possibilities, but in the mind of an expert, there's only very few possibilities. I often teach children, and when teaching children, I'll ask them a question having a particular answer in my mind. But fortunately, I know to ask an open-ended question. And so the children will put up their hands and they'll answer. And sometimes what they say, I never even thought of. And I'm amazed at how intelligent they can be. And so from the children, I'm constantly learning. Humility is this ability to receive at any occasion and from any source. Humility also translates in our willingness to be wrong and get something incorrect because that's when sometimes we really learn. So we don't know. Very often in conversation, we hear ourselves or other people saying, I know, I know, I know. And when we pay attention to that, we'll realize how full our cup really is. And very often we think, I know makes me amazing. But humility helps us understand that I don't know can make me even more amazing.